So Tango's going to be doing the helming. That's a lot of one done. And this pound's pretty low. So I think this might be the last one. This is like I'm not bothered anymore. Morning. Well, it's day two of our holiday of moving off the Leeds Liverpool. Today we're going to tackle the Wigan flight, hopefully, if we can ever get there. What a rainy day yesterday. Oh, blimey. And we haven't been so wet in ages, have we? No. But anyway, um, yeah, it pickled down yesterday. We got diesel full tank from PB Marine. It's the boat yard near Bridge. 60 70 maybe one of them anyway it's under there right so um today we can fly and then we're off to park outside plank lane bridge that's the plan anyway because plank lane bridge is busted at the minute and they're only letting people through at certain times so yeah hopefully we can find a buddy to go down the wigan flight with we didn't get time to do any of the things like uh, you know actually asking people if they were going down and could we buddy up with them but we'll turn up and see who's there if not we're doing it on our own it's 20 locks i think no maybe not it's quite a lot it's gonna be tired at the end of today yeah but there we are let's give it a go oh and we are saying au revoir to paul today who traveled with us yesterday he's stopping where we are um at hay hall and having a nice relaxing week before they move on so these are the only pair of shoes i've got this week so i've left all mine on jobs and in cars mm. <clears throat> and they got very wet yesterday so this is not going to be fun putting these on but the way the weather is they should dry out pretty quick Morning Tango, you alright mate? I don't know if you can see up ahead there but there's a island that's just joined together. We're going to ram straight through the middle of it, we'll see how it goes. It's pretty bad on this stretch of the Leeds Liverpool. Yesterday was quite a few of them, I was just saying we ran over one yesterday. Anyway, let's give it a go. Bigger. Oh, there we go. We've hit one. There's an even bigger clump there. I dare say we're going to have to clear that prop out after we've done that. Well, that was a pig to move. Oh, we managed. I dare say my prop is absolutely wrapped with all that stuff. Never mind, we'll give it a few blasts of reverse and do the job. Coming up though, the Wigan flight. Here we go, the Wigan flight. It looks like there's just us. Yeah, just us. I don't even know if there's any volley lockies anymore. With the uh, unpleasantness that went on. Right, let me go down. Better concentrate. So, Tango's going to be doing the helming. Me and Debbie will do the locks. It's going to be quite hard. Hopefully somebody's coming up. It is a Wednesday. Debbie said go back and look, I'm going to get wet. There's a fair bit pounds through there. <laughs> there we go, next lock ahead. Tango has seen his mum. Shut up, you big girl. What's up with you? That's lot one done. <laughs> got about 19 more to do today maybe 20 odd because we've got a couple waiting to plank bridge so plank lane bridge yeah long way i'm hoping we're not taking that with us this is lock two by the way so this is lock number three of the day but we've just been informed by a zombie's left a passerby that a couple of locks down the pounds are empty locks are empty so Debbie's gone ahead to just empty the lock in front 
um, while I deal with this lock on my Todd. This should be fun. Tango's really fretting because he can't see his mum, so I think I'm going to have to put him inside. Pretty sure that by wash was the fierce one that knocked me into into the wall there. A lot of flow going over. Nearly jammed my boat. This has been put in some years after this was built just to stop it collapsing in at the top. Hello, love. Lock number five, I believe. We've got these special windy handle ones. After here, I believe there's a couple of locks down. It's all empty. We'll have to see. So this is lock number five for lock number 69 on the Leeds Liverpool Canal on the uh, Wigan flight. Cool, oh, blimey. I ain't getting near that. What's in that? I think this is lock number six and that's the view you get from lock 70. They've got to sort the empty pound. Yeah, CRT have turned up now. Well, they're volley lockies, I think they are, but well, they might be. CRT members, but uh, anyway, they're on their way to sort that out. If you're coming through lock 70, just be careful. There's some great big pins, well, bolts sticking out of the wall there, uh, out of the sill. Some water coming down there. Makes me want to pee. So we're holed up here at lock 71, which is the 7th, 6th. 7th possibly of the day um, there's a boat coming up but pound 72 between 72 and 73 I believe is empty so we are going to just wait here for them and then we will fill up and try and get through as quick as possible so there's a bit of a change of plan we're going down to lock 72 and then we're gonna wait there there's two boats coming up one's at 83 and the other one is at 89, so it's going to be a while yet before we set up. So we're going to sit in the next lock and maybe get some dinner. We better start this engine because we're drifting. So that's lock number seven done. It's lock 71. We're going to the next one, which is 72, and then I'll hopefully be able to show you exactly what the problem is. So breaking news, I'm here at lock 72 on the Wigan flight, which is our eighth one down the flight and apparently the pound is well it was empty earlier on but it's very low now CRT have arrived they're helping some boats come up and we are waiting for them to sort of meet in the middle so that when we fill this pound up we can all get through and then it'll drain completely again apparently let's have a look at the lock first I've heard that's nearly empty as well crikey that is low you can see there where the ground paddle water escapes into and this is the pound between 72 and 73 there is a leak somewhere in this you can see how low it is it's down a good four three foot four foot they're letting a lot of water through to try and keep her filled up but she's definitely got a Oh, somewhere over there in that is the overflow for the bywash. Well, every little helps, I suppose. Top of that plank there is normally the water level. As you can see, we're good amount below that. This one's pretty low too, but it's not too bad. And this pound's pretty low. So something between 72 and 73, that pound is leaking. And this is the pound between 72 and 71. And you can see that biowash there is letting water through. As a drone ups, there's a possibility of some YouTubers coming our way. Maybe we'll get famous. No, we won't. 
<laughs> I have a plan going. The bolts that are stuck in lock number 71. Um, they, is it 71? No, 73. I'll start again. So those, the bolts is locked in lock 73 are going to fill the lock up and we are then going to fill lock 72 up and then we're going to go in and then we're going to drop together and then hopefully we'll have enough water to get across the pound to the other lock looks like there's an army of them and there's just two of us we've already dropped a foot i can start filling that lock up in a minute Oh, that bywash is big in. That bywash is a strong in that yeah, one. Bad, well, they've been putting a load of water through as well. <laughs> 74 should be all plain sailing from here. Here she comes. There we go. Look, 75. It's going to be a long day, long hot day. Be careful on Lock 75. Just by this ground paddle, that spews up a load of water and you end up covered in it. On my way down to the next one, love. Okay. Box 76. Distinct smell of dog poo around here. Was it you, Tango? Take up boating, they said. Relaxing, they said. <laughs> I won't be slow and steady. I'm sure, if you're supposed to walk over this one, I'm going to. In here. It's a lot of 78 has these weird spiky things on the floor. I don't know what they're meant to do, but they're a pain in the arse. So I've just turned up at lock 79. Those paddles are open. Those paddles are open. So I've got to shut them all off. I think there's four more, love. What? Four more. Are we I think so. Oh, merrily winding away at this one when I just looked down and noticed that. Yeah. It's taken a while to empty this one, I think. I think Mikey loves Lou, but I'm not sure. This could be some time ago, so he may well have broken her up by now. Block 81. It's a good one. Lock 83. So what we've learnt from Lock 83 on the Wigan flight is shut your windows on the starboard side. There's a bit of a leak that gets in. It's going ruined. Well, it hasn't ruined. It's gone. Debbie's nightwear is all wet now. 
Well, <laughs> there we are. Block 84, and I think that's the last of the Wigan flight that we're doing. Down, we're then going towards uh, Pennington Flash and Plank Bridge. Plank Swing Bridge, yeah. Plank Lane. See, naked. Right, they're going home this one. I was wrong, it weren't the last one. There's another one. So, I think this might be the last one. This is like I'm not bothered anymore. So I've still got two or three to go yet today. Still. The weather's been lovely. So there we are, if we go straight on there now we would end up coming down towards Wigan Pier, we're turning left towards Lee. There we are, that's the end of our journey on the Leeds Liverpool Canal. For now, we haven't quite completed, we've not been to Liverpool itself, I've been down the locks but not done the whole thing and I really need to go to Leeds as well and do the river lock, maybe next time. In the meantime, we're just going to see where we get to, which is down south. I'm already getting a nosebleed just thinking about it. It's been quite a long time since we came down here. Nearly four years to be exact. First lock on the Lee branch, second to last lock of our day. Well, I'm saying it's the first lock on the Lee branch, it is if you come off the Wigan flight. So, I closed off two of the paddles and that's possibly why it's not opening. There's a lot of leakage there. I better go and open them until we get the gates open. Well, that took some shifting. Oh, you can see it's flowing still that way. Quite quickly out of that gate. Oh, there's a lovely church there. I don't know what brand it is, but it's a cracker. Big anyway. Are we reckoning this is the last one then? <laughs> yeah. Just got to get up to uh, Plank Bridge now, haven't we? Plank Lane. Well, there we are. After a pretty epically long day, we're finally getting to the end of the journey. Uh, batteries ran out on the camera, so I can't show you the rest. <laughs> anyway, till next time. <laughs>